Hello everyone, in this video we are trying to talk about the different operators present in Earth Engine. We have arithmetic, relational, logical, and ternary operators. Arithmetic operators are useful for complex computations. We use the expression function, inside which we use the formula to uh, calculate different uh, indices or uh, perform any arithmetic operations. We also have relational, conditional, or Boolean operators. They are useful for decision making expressions. Um, for analysis of certain pixels, they are important. And we also use them for masking, uh, maybe for developing classified maps, and reassigning of the values. So here we have the country Thailand selected from the feature collection. We have here image of 2021. Uh, we have image from 2016. We have used the median to remove any cloud present in that image. And we have used here dot clip AOI. And this clips the uh, all the images and only selects the images present inside our area of interest. So we have here difference. We have done that by dot subtract. We are subtracting image 2016 from image 2021. So subtracting two different images. And we have added this as little. And we have here squared difference. That is done by dot POW and to the power two. This squares the, um, dif the squared difference in each band. So, and we also have added this as little. And the important thing to note is that the minimum and maximum values uh, depends on the user knowledge, or we can inspect from inspector and see uh, what might be the minimum and maximum values that uh, will be suited for this uh, case. So it depends. And similarly, we have calculated NDVI. And for this, we have selected band 4, we have selected band 3, and we subtract um, band 3 from band 4, we want to divide that by dot divide, and the similar process is repeated by addition here dot add, band 3 is selected, band 4 is selected, and this is how the NDVI is calculated. So the whole formula is being typed in a single line of code. Similarly, we have done this for uh, the other image from 2016, and we calculate the NDVI difference. This is a similar way. We do that we do that by dot subtract so subtracting 2016 from 2021 we add that as layer and for the expression uh, we can use dot expression and inside this parenthesis we have here formula inside the single quotes after which we have uh, some selected bands for the Expression. So NIR is band 5, red is for band 4, blue is for band 2. So this is how the uh, image uh, has been used for calculating EVI. And this can be used for any indices. And this has added and this has been added as the label. So when we run this. So when we run this, we go somewhere here. We haven't used a uh, center object, so it's taking time. Somewhere here. So here it is. So much of these things has been covered uh, in the previous videos, and now it's getting easier. I find, I, I personally find it. Uh, easier now to you know see or understand what's going on so this is the image difference uh, this appears as something like beautiful painting uh, of course so much things are going on but uh, maybe it, it might be difficult for me to interpret uh, it's so beautiful appears as a big painting yep and so the next one is image is quite a difference So image is quite different appear something like this. 
it appeared to the docker and we have here ndvi difference difference of two different ndvis here we have two different ndvis difference and we have evi and of course the um, knowledge of that area in which the vegetation is done or the time of uh, when I'm growing the crops are important. So this AVI is not that uh, interpretive in this uh, demonstration. Only the green patch can be seen. Uh, maybe the uh, maximum and minimum values are playing the role. So, but in general, this is a way to calculate uh, different indices and use different arithmetic operations. So there is also some other operators like relational or conditional. Here we have the use of some relational operators. So here we have calculated the normalized difference. This is the way to calculate normalized difference. Uh, this function has already been there in Offensin. So we use a different two different bands. Here we calculate NDVI. And here we have calculated the NDWI. And here we create the binary layer. Uh, we want to have the layer that is greater than 0 0.2 and, sorry, uh, less than 0 0.2. And the NDWI should be less than 0. And if that's uh, condition meets, then that would be considered as a bare land. So this is our assumption. And this has been helped by this dot end, this LT. And here we use the dot self marks to hide others, but to present only those, um, you know, certain uh, layer to be visible. So if we zoom here, we see certain layers here, a layer is here. So different, this white layer is an assumption that this land is bare, bare land. Because here in this uh, layer, the NDVI is less than 0 0.2 and NDWI is less than 0. So here we have used the relational operators. And the other one is the use of some conditional operators. For this, we have here an example. So here we have the image. Uh, this data set is related to the light, night light maze and we have selected stable lights and we want to clip that for our area and here we have uh, here we have the addition of uh, three different data three, uh, sorry three different values uh, it should be greater than 30 it should be greater than 55 it should be greater than 62 and that has been uh, joined or done something by dot add and the distinct layer, distinct zone is created here. Similarly, we also have here dot expression utilized. These two processes are the same, but here we use the, uh, this is called ternary um, operators. And here we have the greater than 62, greater than 55, and greater than 30. And this uh, course creates a different zones based on these uh, two different values. So the uh, first zone would be will have greater than 30, second zone will have greater than 55, and the third zone would have had, uh, would have some values greater than 62. So if we run this, so here we have that three different zone created. If we see here, so what is happening here is, So here we have the three different colors, three different distinct colors. So if we use inspector, the first one, this red one has the value of the value three. And in the blue one has, the green one here, the green one has the value of two and the blue one has the value of one. And the black one has the value of zero. So this is the way to create the different zones. So here we have created the three different zones. 
and this has been done in two different ways. The first one is by using the uh, certain thresholds, and the second one is by using the expressions here. So these two different uh, ways of doing things, similar things. And there is a final example here. It's coming the previous one. So here, what we are doing here is we have your image, and that image has some uh, cloud present in that one. And th there is also next image, uh, which is cloud free image. And what we want to do is we want to replace the cloud image uh, with the other one, other image, uh, which has less clouds. And that is done by uh, calculation of cloud score. And if the cloud score is greater than 10, we want to replace it by the other image, which is cloud free image. So if we run and check this out, you can see here. So we have here we have two different enemies. Uh, it should be somewhere here. This is not of the Thailand, but I think this is from USA. And of course, we have copied this um, all the codes from the guides available from Arts Engine. So you can see. Here's an image. So here, the first one is a cloudy image. And by using where dot where uh, and inside this, uh, we have compared, we have used dot gt10. And wherever the value is greater than 10, that uh, area, in that area, uh, the replacement is done by the other image, which is cloud free image. So this is the original image here. And magically, the clouds are gone. So we have um, used the other image to replace the cloudy places there. So it magically happens quite nicely. It happens very nicely. And finally, we have here morphological operations. Um, and the morphological operations are related with the um, two different binary images. And based on that binary image, or based on the neighboring images, we want to have uh, much more uh, other um, values added. Uh, however, one of the uh, one of one example was is given in the Earth engine, so uh, we can recant that. But um, I think morphological operations need much more example or much more explanations. Uh, for the for now, I haven't uh, copied this one. Um, so overall, uh, this these are the examples uh, that can be done. So we discussed about the different operations done uh, in the art engine. So I hope this was helpful uh, for at some extent. So thank you for watching.